Hey, in this video, we're gonna go over a few reasons why moving to Luzerne County may not be right for you. Chris Madden here from Living in Luzerne County. If you found this information helpful or you wanna see something else, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd be glad to cover any information you could find helpful. Coming in at number three is outdoors. Here in Northeast PA, to really take advantage of Luzerne County and the surrounding areas, there's so much to do outdoors. But with that becomes the fact that we're in Northeast PA and we have four very distinct seasons. That could be both a blessing and a curse, but with that comes winter. Uh, winter here is November-ish through March, depending on what's going on. Uh, we do get a lot of snow, we even get some weeks with single digit temps. So if you're not an outdoor person and you don't like the cold, that might be a reason to avoid Luzerne County. Coming in at number two on the con list is transportation. If you're relocating from somewhere outside of Northeastern PA, there's a couple things that might surprise you. The public transportation in Luzerne County is lacking. Now, while not being a huge city, Luzerne County in and of itself has about 330,000 people. Now we do have some public transportation, but it's not as much as you may be used to if you're coming from somewhere else. Another thing is while we also do have some ride shares, Uber, uh, whatever the other one is, I don't remember, um, they are available, but they're not as available as much you might think. So if you don't have a car, that might be a problem. We do have a lot to offer here in Luzerne County, but it's very spread out. So if you're coming from the city and you're used to just walking to get to everything you need, you might have some problems and may not like Luzerne County. Con number one is that a lot of people often joke around here that up here in Northeast PA, Luzerne County is slow to modernize. Um, originally, we have deep roots in the coal industry and we do seem to kind of be behind the times by a couple of decades. So things that um, you may be used to as an everyday way of life, we don't have here yet. So if you're def definitely, if you're coming from a city, I don't know, this may shock you. I tell friends all the time and when they find out, they think it's insane. You can't get Amazon to deliver same day. Like the, the hour, two hour delivery, Baltimore, Philly, some of these other cities offer, you can't get that up here. Um, we do have a lot to offer by no means are we backwoods at all, but some of the conveniences of modern life just haven't came up here yet. Now that's slowly changing, but if you're used to the latest and greatest and the hottest new thing that's in vogue, Luzerne County's probably not the right, for, right area for you. Coming in at pro number three is small town charm. Now Luzerne County has a population of about 330,000 people. And a lot of the areas still have that, that small town feel. They take the time to get to know your name. When you go into your local diner or something, they remember what you order. They know how you take your coffee. And these things really do is what I love about Luzerne County. It really does give that kind of small town feel where you're known and people know your name. Kind of like the cheer song. I wanna go where everybody knows my name. Anyway, sorry, I digress. But the moral of the story is Luzerne County really does have a great populace um, and you really do get a feel like you're part of the community. And that's one of the greatest things here in Luzerne County. Coming in as pro number two, affordability. Luzerne County is an extremely affordable place to live. In fact, it's about 20% lower than the cost of living for the rest of the United States. That makes it a fantastic place. Your money goes a little bit further. And in times like these with the economy and inflation the way it is, you really do get more bang for your buck up here in Luzerne County. It's fantastic. Um, like I said, crime is relatively low uh, for the population, uh, housing prices, uh, affordability. Um, now you might ask some locals and they may think that some of the things here are expensive, but when you look at all the data of the United States, Luzerne County is about 20% cheaper than living anywhere else. And it, it really does make uh, a great place to live, especially in these trying economic times. Hey, thanks for following along. Before we get into the number one pro of living in Luzerne County, if you found this information helpful or you wanna see something else specifically covered, please leave a comment below. I'd be glad to put out whatever information you guys feel is valuable. Thanks so much. Now let's get into the number one pro of living in Luzerne County. Coming in at number one reason to live in Luzerne County is location. Luzerne County is placed in a fantastic location. Uh, up in Northeast PA, again, low population, low cost of living, 
but we're within two hours of New York City and Philadelphia. In fact, since COVID happened, we've received a lot of transplants that from work from home and the new way of life with a lot of people doing remote work from New York City and Philadelphia that decided to relocate up here in Northeast PA. Also, with two hours away from New York and Philadelphia, a little bit longer of a drive, you could be in Pittsburgh, Baltimore, DC, even Boston's only five, five and a half hours away. Uh, so it's in a great location. Uh, the two highways are Interstate 81 and Interstate 80 that intersect here in Luzerne County. And that will get you north, south, east, west, wherever you may need to go. So it's also become sort of a transportation hub and a lot of businesses are coming in to take advantage of those highways. We also have the Northeast Extension, which you can zip right down to Philly on an hour and a half, depending on your speed. But the location is great. And while being so close to all these cities, we do have a lot to offer as far as suburbia, uh, as well as the outdoors, uh, lakes and rivers and hunting and fishing. So you can kind of get the both, best of both worlds by living here in Luzerne County. You get the low cost of living, you get the great locations. If you do want a night in the city, you can go out for a night in the city but you also have that small town charm that we talked about earlier. And it really does make Luzerne County a very unique, but very wonderful place to live. Hey, again, my name is Chris Madden, host of Living in Luzerne County. I hope you found this information beneficial. If there's anything I didn't cover that you wanna see or learn about in Luzerne County, feel free, drop a comment below. I'm here to help you guys make the decision whether or not Luzerne County is the right place for you. And I'd be glad to cover whatever topics that you guys might need to make the decision on whether or not Luzerne County is right for you. Till we talk again, take care.